I am super excited for today's mail drop. We're here in the office and we got a pile of packages and I cannot wait to open them. Ugh. Okay, these boxes are really heavy. I'm very excited about what's in here. And you guys should be really excited about what's in here too because what's in this box actually benefits you guys. That's one box. That's not everything. There we go. Okay, all right, so here it is. This, what I'm surrounded by, is liquid death. That's right, liquid death. Let me explain what liquid death is. Liquid death is delicious mountain spring water uh, bottled in a can. That's right, it's in a can. Usually, I mean, everybody knows, it's bottled water, comes in plastic bottles, but not liquid death. Liquid death is different. They come in 100% recyclable aluminum cans. Obviously, aluminum cans are 100% recyclable. And what not a lot of people know is, is aluminum cans can be recycled indefinitely, like over and over and over and over and over and over again. Plastic bottles cannot. Despite what you've heard, despite what people say, despite what someone, whoever told you, plastic bottles are not 100% recyclable. Most of them end up in landfills. A great majority of them end up in our streets, in the ocean, everywhere. It's terrible. Plastic sucks. So that's why their mantra is death to plastic. That's why they package their product in aluminum cans. It's awesome. It's great for the environment and it tastes great. I've had both kinds. This is the original right here. This is regular water and this is the sparkling water right here. I happen to be a sparkling water guy. I like this one a lot. But anyway, I want to say thank you. Thank you to Liquid Death for hooking us up and giving us all this great product. Now this is where it benefits you guys. This is a lot of water. I'm not a greedy person. I like to share. So when you guys see me at a show, I want you to come by, say what's up, and say, hey, hey man, can I try some of that Liquid Death? And I'll be like, huh? Oh, Liquid Death. Okay, I got you. And I will hook you guys up, give you guys a sample, let you guys try this amazing water, uh, and then you can get it yourself. Um, there's a, this is in a couple different places. You can pick it up at 7-Eleven. You can pick it up, I believe, at Target, Whole Foods, a couple other places. I will make a list right here of places that you can pick it up and hopefully it's somewhere local to you guys. But again, thank you, Liquid Death, for this great product. Well, we're pulling the Forerunner out of the garage. It's been an entire year, actually over a year, since we've had this truck out at a show. And uh, we've pulled out of the garage. It is absolutely filthy, covered in dust. It hasn't moved in a year. Um, fired right up though, aired up. Uh, I had to change the battery a few months ago because the battery went bad in it, of course. Uh, but aired up, it's out here, and we we're getting it ready for the show this weekend.
right, so we're here. We're here at the SEMTC show down here in Ontario. Uh, it's a, here at a place called Galaxy Burger. But uh, yeah, we're super stoked to be here. The first show that we brought the runner to this year, the first show in over a year. And uh, we got most of the crew here. We got, um, the, this is the Forbidden Fantasy behind me. This is our club. We got our uh, San Diego guys, they came up to the show. And we got uh, us, the, the SoCal IE guys. I'm just really excited to be this, at the show. I'm super stoked. So we're having a good time here at the show. It is hot. It's a nice hot day here in Ontario, California, but we got ourselves covered. We made sure. We're bringing ourselves plenty of liquid death. So growing up in Southern California, going to truck shows most of our life, we get to see vehicles kind of like uh, progress throughout the years and, and trucks that were built a long time ago, they're still hanging around like this truck behind me right here. This was a feature, I think it actually was a cover of mini trucking way back in the day. But it's this extra cab Toyota kind of done like with a low rider-ish style. It's on these, these wheels right now, but it used to be on these uh, Supremes, like uh, Astro Supreme wheels. It's really cool, kind of, it, it definitely has that like SoCal flavor to it. Really dig this truck and it's still around and it still looks great. I gotta show you guys this truck real quick. 
This is one of our members in Forbidden Fantasy here. We call him Poochie. And uh, this is his Toyota. And this Toyota has a ton of history to it. And we're actually gonna be doing a feature very soon on it. Um, we're gonna, he's from Oceanside, California, so we're gonna go visit him in a couple weeks, shoot a feature on this thing, and let you know the in-depth story behind this truck. It's really interesting. And followed up to my crew with the forerunner, Mr. Frank. That's me! Hey! Hey! hey congratulations, thank you very much. Frank! Oh, I appreciate that. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you for supporting Thank you. Thank having a great time at the show this Saturday or Sunday I keep on getting Saturday and Sunday confused it's been a long weekend but we're having a great time here at this show on Sunday and you know regardless of what maybe everybody thinks has this whole year has been or, or what's gone on I think what it has proved everybody kind of taking a break from the show scene and everything like that what it's proved is there's two kinds of people either a person who took the year off and realized that, you know what, maybe maybe they're not really into the truck scene as much as they thought they would be, and, and you know what, just decided that they weren't gonna go to shows anymore. Or the people who took this year off and didn't go to shows figured out they really love coming to shows, and they're coming out stronger than ever. And I think everybody here at this show falls into the latter category, where everybody is so stoked to be here, everybody is really excited about the show season coming up, and it's gonna be a good year.